Assalamu alaikum, welcome back friends to the channel. In this video, you are going to see how you can use the callback flow in order to create flow from callback implementations. Let's get started. Here, I'm having a simple Android project. I'm going to use the example of network connectivity callback. So let's say I'm having a function that will return a flow. Let's call this function network availability flow, in which we will need a context in order to create a connectivity service to get that callback. So here, let's just add the context and then let's create directly the flow and return it. The flow will be created using the callback flow function. And let's have some parentheses here and let's start creating and producing the flow. Now, the first thing we need to do is to create the callback. Let's start creating our callback. Here, we will use an anonymous implementation of the connectivity manager network callback. And here, let's override two methods, on loss and on available. Here is the first method, on available and on loss. Now, we need to return a Boolean that indicates that there is an internet connection or not. So here we'll try to emit or we'll try to send. So we will use a try send to true. That means that we have an internet connection and here we don't have it, we will return false. Now we need to attach this callback into the connectivity service or the connectivity manager. So we need to create the connectivity manager. So here let's create the manager. We will use that context in order to get system service called connectivity service. We need just to cast it into a connectivity manager. That's the first thing. Next, we will have to attach that callback into that manager. Okay, first we will have to create just a network request using that builder here, for example, and we will need to add just one simple capability of network or internet capability, and we will need just a base. And we have the second parameter will be our callback. So until this point, the main thing about callback flow is these two things. Now we need to add another thing to persist the flow a little bit. So we need to add a wait close. Now, if you try to run it without a wait close, the callback will run and will stop immediately. So we need to wait until that coroutine suspend or get canceled. So we'll use wait close. If you see the documentation of this wait close, it will show you that it will suspend the current coroutine until the channel is either closed or canceled. That's the main thing about it. And here we will remove that callback from our manager. So we'll put just manager and register network callback. So that's the main idea on how to convert a callback based implementation into a flow. So remember about these two things and about waiting close. Now you can use this network availability like the following. You can use network availability with this. This is our context because we are in activity. Now don't put it here directly in the on creates. You can use it in on resume or something else. And you can directly collect this one because this will return a cold flow. As you can see here in documentation, create instance of cold flow. That means that this won't produce any values until someone starts collecting the value. So here you can start collecting the value directly from this one. Okay, now just use it in the appropriate place such as on resume or something else. This is it for this video. Thanks a lot for watching this video. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and see you in the next videos. Assalamu alaikum.